I don't know what inspires me specifically. That's a tough word to describe inspiration, but every piece is unique. Every piece has its own, you know, message. But overall, it's all about positivity. It's all about community. You know, that's what my work is about, about lightheartedness, you know, humor, you know, community, um, all positive things. Um, you talk about this piece specifically. Yes, it does. It did have to do with the mural ordinance at the time. A lot of muralists were unhappy about it. And my general idea was, you know, I really don't care what the mural ordinance says. <laughs> I'm going to paint my murals. And I think that if the people accept my murals, which I think they have, you know, they don't get graffiti, they don't get painted away. If the people accept it, if the people want it, the city's going to leave it alone. Because the, what it takes is somebody calling the city, somebody complaining, somebody being angry. That's what gets a mural erased, you know what I mean? People complain, people don't like it, people don't want it. But I feel if the people want it and the people accept it, then the ordinance has nothing to do with it. So, you know, when the ordinance was getting ready to pass and they said that, you know, all these murals were in danger, I never felt my murals were in danger. I felt that they were loved, loved by the communities that, you know, helped paint them and, you know, that they weren't going anywhere. So I didn't care what the mural ordinance said. I think a lot of artists felt that way. I was going to keep doing my thing, you know. I thought it would be a good idea to come back here and bring some of my, you know, abilities to the people. I mean, I feel that when you have the ability to do something, you're responsible for making that happen. I mean, that's just how I feel, you know what I mean? If you have something, if you have more of something, then I think you're responsible to, you know, give some of that away. So, I guess that's kind of what I'm doing here. Uh, I teach part-time at Artis High. I teach two classes there, um, but I only have two weeks left there. I'm looking forward to ending it, not because I don't like the kids, but because I want to keep painting. Um, it's getting My job is getting in the way of my painting, <laughs> which I feel is my real job. Um, this is what I do for a living. The teaching job is kind of a side thing. Um, I, I did it because I wanted to get a foot in the door so that I can paint a mural at that school, and that's in the works already. Um, but painting is what I do. Painting is what I do for a living. I went to school for animation. Uh, I, freelance a I do freelance animation as well. So between animation and painting, I always have work. I'm always busy. When I'm not doing animation or painting, I'm you know painting murals for free. So, so I didn't start to study painting for me. I studied animation for me. When I went to Cal State Northridge, I figured I already knew how to paint. Great school. So why would I learn how to paint if I already knew how to paint? So I figured I might as well learn animation, which was a great choice because I make a lot of money doing that, and that's what pays for all my murals. That's what funds everything. That's what you know feeds the volunteers. That's what does it all so Twitch, oh yeah man growing up you know looking out the window you know <laughs> how did he get it to look so good <laughs> you know that was always the question as a kid like it looks just like a photo how did he do that and you know so growing up painting I always wanted to you know make it look as real as possible make it look as real as possible and Ken Twitch always seemed to represent that bar of realism and I think to this day he holds that bar so you know, I hope to meet him someday. He's a great, 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 great muralist. And yeah, I mean, everything off the 110, everything in the Pico Union era where I grew up the first five years of my life, you know, so I got a lot of love and a lot of respect for Kent Twitchell, despite the okay. fact I've never met him. Well, you're invited. You have an open invitation. We'll be delighted to introduce you to him, and he'll be delighted to meet you as well. Because nice, Kent Twitchell, as long uh, and everybody else at the Mural Conservancy of Los Angeles, very much about embracing the younger generation, people like you that are continuing the history of realism in our city. So thank you so much. No problem. Thank you for Great. your time. Thanks.